What's up Conscious Creators, Alex here. What's the link between a US president, a chicken farm and porn addiction? As the story goes, US President Calvin Coolidge and his wife, First Lady Mrs. Coolidge, were on a visit to a government chicken farm and were being taken around and shown the facility on separate tours. Whilst passing the chicken pens, Mrs. Coolidge got curious about whether the lone rooster was sufficient seeing as there were many hens in the chicken flock and asked the supervisor, how many times a day does the rooster mount the hens? Oh, dozens of times, said the supervisor. Interesting, she replied. Be sure to tell the president that when he passes here, as if jokingly to highlight the sexual prowess of the rooster compared to her husband. A little later, the president came past the same pens and the hapless supervisor passed on the first lady's message. But tell me, said the president, does the rooster mate with the same hen each time? Oh, no, Mr. President, a different one every time. Please tell that to Mrs. Coolidge, said the president. This little story gave the name to something called the Coolidge effect, which describes the biological phenomena whereby male animals are re-aroused by the introduction of a new female. And whether the story is 100% completely true or not, it can be used to highlight just one of the reasons why pornography and excessive masturbation can be so addictive and so destructive. We have ancient structures deep within our brain which make up the dopamine reward system. And the system is designed to motivate us towards action, towards the things that will ultimately ensure species survival. You might have heard of dopamine as the pleasure neurotransmitter, but neuroscientists today believe that dopamine is less about pleasure and more about wanting and craving. It biases towards action and behavior. On the primal level, that's towards things like food, water and sex. And in our modern world, that's things like winning a sports game, winning on the slot machine, hitting those sales targets, making money and getting new followers and likes and comments on TikTok and Instagram. Whether or not you have the desire to overcome challenges and obstacles in your life depends on dopamine and it's fundamental to so many amazing things in life, but to so many terrible things too, like addiction, as well as porn addiction and severe mental illness. Dopamine is released in response to anticipation, meaning if you regularly engage in porn, dopamine can be released in the brain and spike massively above baseline just by thinking about it. And all the dopamine system cares about is movement towards the thing that triggered it. And this is why you feel the strong pull towards loading up those saucy pictures and videos as soon as the thought of them flashes into your mind. Then, when you sit down and start engaging in the porn, the amount of dopamine in the brain goes up even further, and now it seems incredibly difficult to peel yourself away from the screen even if you wanted to. However, as you repeatedly engage in the behavior and pleasure yourself repeatedly to the picture or video of the same person, the amount of dopamine release starts to decline and is gradually replaced by other chemicals that trigger a low level sense of pain. You may not actually feel it as a physical pain. It's usually a kind of low level psychological pain, but an addict may even feel it as a kind of physical pain or a serious psychological pain, especially after a certain amount of time not getting the hit. One of my coaching clients told me that one time he craved porn so much he felt like he was gonna die. The dopamine and pain chemicals are responsible for that feeling of craving and it's set up like this because although the dopamine system biases towards behavior it thinks will ensure species survival like sex, and porn because it can't tell the difference between sex and porn, we obviously don't wanna be doing the same behavior again and again forever, and so the dopamine eventually starts to tail off. But is there something that can get the dopamine system going again and get those huge spikes of dopamine going again to immunize against the pain of craving? It turns out there is, and that is novelty. And when it comes to masturbation, where can we find almost limitless amounts of novelty? That's right, internet pornography. 
You can load up multiple tabs, multiple videos from multiple angles with multiple women performing multiple fetishes. You introduce your brain to a seemingly infinite amount of novel images and keep that dopamine spiking for hours on end. And once you're finished, you can even come back to it a few hours later, load up more novel images and start the whole cycle again. After orgasm, there's a massive drop in dopamine and a huge increase in a hormone called prolactin. Prolactin makes you feel this sense of lethargy and a sense of apathy towards the thing that triggered the dopamine. And it's actually the hormone that makes you lose your erection and sets the period of time that you can mate or masturbate again. But the introduction of a new mate or in the case of pornography, a new novel image shortens this. Meaning you can spike your dopamine all over again and continue the cycle until you're absolutely exhausted, blasting your dopamine system again and again with short, sharp spikes and massively increasing the pain of craving to the point it feels almost impossible to stop. Either consciously or subconsciously, you're controlling it in a way to maximize novelty and therefore maximize dopamine. And over time, it biases your brain towards the dopamine system. It biases your brain towards the system that motivates us towards action and away from the systems and chemicals that help us to feel satiated and happy in the present moment and in the now. It biases you towards rabid pursuit of external goals and quick satisfaction, less able to experience calm and happiness in the here and now. A healthy adult life involves a healthy and balanced mixture of goal achieving and pleasure seeking and bliss in the here and now. And a healthy adult life involves pleasure seeking to center around things that will benefit us in the long run. And this is why so many people are discovering things like nofap and semen retention. People have the instinct that infinite novelty edging and orgasms are killing their motivation and energy for the higher ideals in life and contributing towards a sense of depression. Now, this isn't a promotion for polygamy either. We also have other parts of our brain which can override the primeval dopamine system because we don't just want to be pleasure-seeking animals and generally want to construct a life of higher ideals than just mating with as many women as possible or getting off to as much porn as possible. We can put the brake on this system in order to reclaim our true power. If you're deep in the hole, it's gonna take some focus and effort to realign your behavior with your true self, but it's possible. And even if you don't feel that you're that deep in the hole, you might begin to have an intuition that even a little bit of this stuff can suck you in for hours and diminish your power. We can live instead with a sense and a feeling of alignment to our true purpose and a sense of conscious expansion and contribution. We can feel sexually motivated to be with a real person, with the potential to build an incredible real relationship full of mind-blowing conscious sex and intimacy, as opposed to a life of screwing our hands and pixels on a phone or computer screen. You can direct that sexual energy towards the manifestation of your bigger goals and the externalization of your inner vision and get on the path to consciously create more of what you want in your life. And so with that being said, here's some more detail on the Consciousness Revolution program. This is a one-to-one -one coaching program with me to help you overcome low confidence or low self-esteem that's holding you back from doing what you really want to do in your life. If you're done with living a mediocre life with the same stuff day in, day out and want to build something that positively contributes to the world and in exchange brings abundance to your life, this program is for you. Or if you're a conscious entrepreneur that has had some momentum but has ran into some blocks and wants help taking things to the next level, this program is also for you. So head over to speaktoalex.com and book a time for us to chat about solving your problems. And with that being said, like this video if you liked it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos helping you with conscious personal growth. Peace.